Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a medicinal aromatherapist and a multi-modality healer. And today we're going to talk about three different medicinal grade essential oils that can help you with love. Now, love has many different meanings and embodiments. Um, it can be romantic love. It can be love for the self, love for the self with a capital S, meaning collective consciousness, and so many different forms of love. So the first essential oil I'm going to talk about is osmanthus. Now this is a blossom, so it goes right to opening up the heart chakra. And what she said was, I help you to see love. Oftentimes when we're in moments of darkness or stress, anxiety, uh, trauma, it's really hard to see love. Um, it can be. Um, we can be so stuck in what's going on in our lives that we've just focused on the negative things as opposed to seeing there is beautiful light and goodness and kindness in the world. Um, and she's also saying that it's not only to open up and see that, but to recognize it. Mm. So I love putting uh, a drop or two of her on my heart space. Uh, she's very fragrant and very strong, so one drop can go a really long way. So there you go. Now, number two, I was surprised that winter green, green came forward. So this is winter green, and this is an evergreen uh, plant tree. And um, what winter green said was, I help to decrease the inflammation, and she's very much an astringent. So she helps to cleanse and clear anything that is blocking us from being able to relax into love. So a lot of times, again, we've experienced negative emotions, all these different things going on in our lives. And sometimes we want, we're reaching out with like, okay, I see the love. I want to receive it. I want to accept it. I want to explore that. But sometimes we can feel like we have a block, like, oh, it's right there. Why can't I experience it? Why can't I get to it? Wintergreen helps to cleanse and clear all that gunk in our lives that just needs to go. It just needs to go. Um, and also she helps with the stress. So maybe we um, have stressful situations with loved ones or we're scared or we have a lot of fear or blocks around dating again or exploring uh, ourselves on a very deep level. Um, so she holds her hands through those and said, I got you, babe. And last but not least, we have oregano or oregano, as they say <laughs> in other parts of the world. Um, and again, I was surprised that she came forward too. She is incredibly powerful on so many different levels. There are books written just on oregano. And she is a hot essence, so be careful using her. So for her, I like to put her on the bottom of my feet, um, or I will put on a cooler essence. So I'll use, uh, you can use osmanthus if you want, but um, I will use lavender or um, something that's a little bit cooler, like a pine or a spruce, and then I'll put her on top. Um, but what she says is, I ground you into love. I ground you into being loved, to walking each step with love and kindness, um, really to choose and feel Mother Earth's love for us, that you are never abandoned, you are never alone, you are always connected, and to really have love for who you are in this human existence. And really what she's saying too is get rid of sh any shame, guilt of the past. You know how sometimes you'll be walking along and be like, oh, I remember when I was 10 and I said that to Sally and oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Let it go. Let it go. Um, so oregano is really amazing at self-love, really grounding into Mother Earth, who we are, and being and exuding love. So... I hope that's helpful. Again, there are so many different oils and plants that help with love, but these are the three that wanted to come forward today on our journey through delving deeper into medicinal great essential oils on these physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. So let me know if you have any questions and sending you all love.